with a corpse. A corpse? Did you kill the corpse? How could I kill a corpse? A corpse is a corpse. Of course, of course, but the corpse wasn't always a corpse. Oh my god, ladies, I didn't kill the corpse. <sighs> Alright, sorry. Anyway, good news. I trapped Lupin in a temporal stasis field. If you can finish with Da Vinci before the field dissolves, I can bring you both back simultaneously. Why don't you just bring Lupin back now? If I bring either of you back first, the Chrono Tunnel might collapse, trapping the other in the past. Which would create an anomaly so massive that it would definitely destroy the universe. Yeah, pretty much. I'm on the job. Kelvin out. Not looking under there. No way, no how. Subject name, Brian Connors, age 34. Subject displays above-average musculature, consistent with making massive gains and getting hella swole. Apparent cause of death? Excessively meaty head. Hmm, there's something real suspicious about how unsuspicious this book looks. Called it. It's titled, Study of a Man with Celery Stuck in His Teeth. Looks like we've got sap green, Indian yellow, bright red, and Prussian blue. Whoa, cool! Toy of the Year 1503! This thing is sweet! I think you just spin it and it goes up. What the? It's a painting of a bulldog in a flowery dress? Oh, it's the most exquisite painting of a bulldog in a flowery dress I've ever seen. All this stuff looks fragile and half-finished. Oh, neat! I made something like this when I was nine so I could pull my cousin Sarah's ponytail from across the room. Which, of course, led cousin Sarah to retaliate with her pneumatic spitball cannon. Basically, my childhood was a terrifying arms race. Hey, sometimes two arms just isn't enough arms. Well, it looks like a to-do list, but it's all backwards. There's only one item that isn't crossed off. Take catapult designs to castle for approval from the Duke. Oh, hey, neat. These are for some sort of giant weapon. Official blueprints for the Paul and Ratchet munition delivery system. I'll just slip the formula somewhere in the middle here.
Hey, uh, what kind of goods do you usually exchange with the grave digger? I'm afraid it would be a violation of his and my arrangement to tell you. Oh, come on! It's critical to my mission! I am sorry, time traveler. End of the world or no, I fear it is none of your business. I thought I told you to stay out! That pigeon's back. It looks sicker than ever. It's not getting away this time! <sighs> this should keep her out for a little while, at least. Looks like it's empty. Open this door right now! Coming! I just slipped on some gravy. Am I the kind of person that would steal meat out of somebody else's stew? Huh, guess I am. I should really work on that. What's going on out there? Uh, just, just a minute, I... Think the hinges are covered in syrup? She's not gonna want to use the cracked ones, right? I'll just grab a few of those. You got to the count of three, John. Hang on, it's uh, really windy out here. I can't get to the door. What did you do? No, nothing. Nothing. Door just got stuck for a second. Okay, bye. I'm not sure how those go together. It's an empty bottle of Rat Blaster brand rat poison? They're a little cracked, but they're still in one piece. Meat! All right, let's Easter these up. They're still cracked, but now they're downright festive. I have the goods, I think. Oh my god! I love it, I love it, I love it! <laughs> you wanted a leg, right? Be right back. Here you go! Don't use it all in one place! And now I'm trafficking body parts. I've got some new blueprints from Leonardo da Vinci that need to be approved. Likely story. Let's see them. Old man must be starting to lose it if he's hired the likes of you. Uh, go on through. Any funny business, and I'll spear you good. Hmm? 
Duke, yes. What is it, Commoner? Are you the Duke? Am <laughs> I the Duke? Do you think the Duke answers his own door? Do you know anything about Dukes? So you're like the Duke's weird friend. I'm his doorman, you simpleton. Due to budget cuts, I also act as his valet, his notary, his stunt double, and his Thursday night wingman. Notary? Does that mean you, like, sign stuff for him? If by stuff you mean missives critical to the governance and preservation of the state? So, boring stuff. <sighs> yes, boring stuff. Now, what do you want? You again? Can't this wait until tomorrow? How do I know for sure you're not the Duke? You cannot be serious. I can and I do. That squinty guard over there taught me a thing or two about suspicion, and I suspect you. Okay, fine. You know what? You got me. I am the Duke. Really? No! Now stop asking already. What? What are you doing? Are you sick? About to throw up? Is there something on my face? You're trying to get me to say I'm the Duke, aren't you? Aha! I knew it! You really are a singular kind of stupid. You again? Can't this wait until tomorrow? I have some blueprints from Leonardo that need to be signed. You're not Leonardo's usual courier. Where's old Giotti? Who? Matthias old Giotti? Enormous mustache, always wears 12 belts for some reason? Oh! Matthias! Right. He, uh, he moved. He fell in love with a beltsmith up in Venice. They didn't want to do the long distance thing. Sensible, but a shame. It was a fine courier. Very well. Where are these blueprints? What the? Is this a formula for hair dye? Huh? Uh, no, that's catapult dye. Why the devil would anyone bother to dye a catapult? Well, after a while, they, uh, start to go gray. I can't tell if you're joking, but I'd rather just sign this than investigate it further. That's the spirit? These appear to be in order. I trust that's everything. Sure is. Thanks. Stupid, greedy bees never want to share their honey with anybody. The bees won't let me get close enough. Behold, my revolutionary remote incense delivery system. Trademark. Patent pending. It's my remote incense delivery system. Trademark. Patent pending. Remote incense delivery system deploy. Drink in the stink, bees. You know you hate it. Stinger 1, this is Mission Command. You are clear to engage the hive. Good luck, soldier. Bravest tiny helicopter I ever saw. Wow, this is sticky. Even for honey. Oh, man, it's sticking to everything. I'm going to need a new backpack. Another young life interrupted by a tragic turn to crime. Are you referring to me? Obviously. Fantastic! It's working! Huh? What's working? I am no prisoner, sir. 
I am an actor with the Matthias Panic Traveling Theatre Company. Tomorrow, we shall stage Panic's latest work, The Ugly Goats of Jacob, on the Montevecchio. So, are you playing Jacob? Or an ugly goat? Neither. I shall embody the pivotal role of Silent Prisoner Number Five. The Duke has graciously granted me access to this cell that I might better prepare. No offense, but Silent Prisoner Number Five doesn't sound like a super important role. I don't follow. Well, for starters, I'm guessing the silent part means you don't have any lines. All the more reason to perfect the anguished yet deadened expression of the incarcerated. Okay, but it also sounds like there are going to be at least four other silent prisoners for people to look at. Like, I don't know, silent prisoner number two. You mean Gary? Huh? Trust me, no one's going to bother to hear Gary. Well, break a leg tomorrow, I guess. Thank you, friend. You've given me the confidence I need to begin the Simon portion of my preparation. Now then. I feel like there's a joke in here somewhere. Like Roblu, I believe he's referring to you. Well, he sure ain't referring to anything you're saying, smart guy. I'm impressed you can even hear what I'm saying over your incessant farting. You know me. <sighs> I'm a renaissance man! <laughs> so what's the story? Did you guys beat up a troubadour? How'd you guess? Pay no attention to my ordinary pumpkin of a colleague. The Duke has jailed us because he has grown tired of our incessant bickering. Apparently, we're supposed to be funny. Who knew? When are you getting out? According to the Duke, once we've reconciled our creative differences and agreed to work together. So, you know, never. Unless, of course, an enterprising young hero were to, uh, break us out. Sounds risky. What's in it for me? I'll let you borrow the suit. Yeah, um, I'll pass. Sleeping on the job. Finally, somebody in this century I can relate to. Somebody who stopped that centaur. Ah. Oh, snap. Sounds like there's a fugitive on the run in Dreamland. Oh, sweet! I've wanted one of these since I was six! Oh, you better believe this is one thing I'll be using for its intended purpose. You don't need to hide, little fella. I just want to drink a soda and talk about rat stuff. Ugh, now the cheesy smell is super concentrated inside the jar. Ugh, now the bottle reeks of blue cheese. I guess I will leave this delicious piece of actual cheese directly outside this hole. I sure hope it will not be eaten by a rodent or small dog. <laughs> it's not cheese at all, silly rat. Your nose has betrayed you. Don't forget the air holes, kids. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, wait, what am I going to do with you? Here lies Mig Carbonell, who popped his lungs at the ripe old age of 96, screaming at a bunch of teenagers to pull up their pantaloons. <coughs> well... 
well, it's got a little honey on it, but overall, it's a pretty nice feather. <laughs> I got it off that raven in the cemetery. Your rat poison is a joke. This rat ate a whole bottle's worth and he's fine. What? How can this be? I demand a refund. Yeah. No cash refunds. Store credit or nothing. Store credit it is. Very well. Uh, let me know when you've decided on an item. And let's keep word of this product defect between us, shall we? My lips are zipped. You got anything that can tame an angry plant? Uh, is that monstrosity by the graveyard acting up again? You know about it? I created it. Accidentally, I admit. <laughs> Spilled one of my most volatile concoctions on an innocent little weed. Then you gotta have something that can calm it down. I have pills that should soothe it, yes. I'll take them. Very well. Uh, how will you be paying this evening? Uh, let me get back to you. Can I use my store credit on those pills for the plant? Huh, I suppose that's fair. Here you are. According to the alchemist, these should knock out that big, scary plant. Hmm, if this plant is anything like my cat, there's no way it'll take a pill voluntarily. Sleeping pills and meat. Two great tastes that go great together. The meat's covered in sleeping pills. Chew on this, you grumpy shrub. Dang, that thing's going to be out for days. Sleeping like a monstrous photosynthesizing baby. It's a pristine tentabel root. Okay, I got the Duke to sign off on the formula. Can you make the dye now? Huh? What? Oh, let me see it again. I don't have any of these ingredients in the shop right now. What if I found them for you? Then I suppose I could squeeze you in. But good luck finding a raven's feather, a tannibal root, and a human femur on short notice. <laughs> Boom! One raven feather. Is this honey? Yeah. See, first I smeared honey all over a gravestone. And Good Lord, forget I asked. <laughs> this is a tentabel root, right? <laughs> Indeed it is. And a sizable one at that. What can I say? I know how to pick them. <laughs> That's everything, right? Can we finally make this die or what? Oh, very well. Just a moment. Here you are. Please give my regards to the Duke. I have charged his account as usual. Will do. Thanks, bud. <laughs> It's the brown dye I got from the alchemist. You are looking downright chipper. Oh, thank you. 
Sorry, I didn't catch that. I ain't eat you! The lady is thanking you for the compliment. Yes! I'm a... Hey, so I got this brown hair dye, and I was wondering... Okay, okay, sorry, yeah, sorry. Honestly, this is going to be the highlight of my entire life. That ruled. Looks like Mona's sitting directly below here. Ooh, maybe if I drop the die on Mona from here, she won't even notice. Here goes nothing. <laughs> eh, worth a shot. Kelvin, Lupin's temporal stasis. Kel Kelvin, why do I hear crying in the background? No, oh, that's Mona. I might have dyed her hair without her permission to make her look more like her sister. You what? Kelvin, what happened to helping Leonardo da Vinci? I am helping him. Leonardo was going to paint Mona's sister, but Lupin prevented that. So you and Leonardo decided the best course of action was to gussy up Mona? Exactly. Ugh, men. I feel gross even asking, but did it work? Well, her hair's the right color, but now there's the whole uncontrollable weeping thing. Could I make a suggestion, Kelvin? Of course! Apologize, you lug nut. And hurry, Lupin's temporal stasis field is starting to decay. <laughs> hey, I'm really sorry about the whole hair dye thing. I only did it because the temporal lattice is unraveling and the universe will dissolve. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't believe it either. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Mona's hair is brown. Indeed it is. And she doesn't have that goofy smile anymore. Indeed she doesn't. So we're good. Not even close, time travel. You need to find a way to improve her mood before she composes herself enough to leave. Okay, listen. If I break you guys out, will you help me cheer up a lady who won't stop crying? Proposal didn't go so well, huh, bud? <laughs> I believe what Grove you meant to say was, Oh my god, yes, please! We'll do literally anything! I had intended to sneak a file into our cell as we were jailed, but I was bumped by a certain lunkhead, and I dropped it into the grate at your feet. I'm sure it's still down there, somewhere. It looks like it bends off to the left, but a bunch of sewer gunk is blocking my view. Let's see what's hiding down here. Looks like a raven feather, a human leg bone, some sort of root, 
Ooh, and a file! It's the Jester's Metal file. Come on! Let's blow this joint! Uh, quick question, uh, if I may. How do we intend to elude the ill-tempered fellow with the spear? Follow me! There's a tunnel by the Rose Garden that I used to steal the Duke's dishware. Grow blue, you devious little plate smuggler. I could kiss you. How about you don't? We call it even. How about those gestures, huh? What a mildly enjoyable delight. Why, I'm smiling subtly and mysteriously just thinking about them. Would you shut up? All I wanted to do today was get a nice portrait. What do I get instead? A dye job from the sky that makes me look like my stupid sister. And now a couple of smelly buffoons throwing balls around are supposed to make me feel better? Just leave me alone until my mother arrives to pick me up. Hey, you guys are good. Mona's already stopped crying. But of course, we are graduates of the finest fooling academy in the city state. Well, I am anyway. This clown never finished one of his requirements. Oh, please. How much would I really have gotten out of intro to poop jokes? Depends on what you put in. Do you two have any acts besides juggling? Together? No. By and large, our comedic tendencies are remarkably divergent. Hence the bickering. And the tail tie. But we both like to juggle. Ipso facto, we juggle. Could we maybe change things up a little? Mona's still pretty down in the dumps. I suppose we could, uh, switch to the clubs. Is there anything I can do? Like, really, anything. You've done plenty already. Why don't you go ruin someone else's day? <laughs> Time to give them the old switcheroo. Mind if we, uh, change things up again? Sure the boss, boss. Hey, don't these feel a little... <laughs> My God, that's, that's it. That's the smile I've so long to capture. Well, then don't just stand there, man. Paint! Paint! <laughs>